Hey crafty fam, it's Alex Vanover and welcome back to my channel DIY Alex. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download fonts onto your computer so that you can use them on Cricut, in Cricut Design Space. So I'm here on fontbundles.net. This is one of my favorite sites for um, finding fonts. I am going to be in the free font section today, but they have all different kinds of fonts. Um, they regularly change these free fonts, but you can also look for regular, script, logo fonts, symbol fonts, all different kinds of fun stuff. So I highly recommend this website if you're interested in that. And I will also put it in the description. And this, um, in this download and installation process works the same, whether you're using defont.com, uh, fontbundles.com, creativefabrica.com, it's all the same process. So you can use this for any font that you want to download on your Windows computer. So I'm in my free font section. I'm just gonna scroll down and look for a font that looks like it would work well on my Cricut. You wanna be cautious of fonts like this because as you can see, they have kind of a brushed look which basically means that there are brush strokes in the letters and those are gonna be really hard on your machine to cut and they're gonna be difficult to weed, especially small. So when you are choosing a font, keep that in mind. You also don't wanna get super, super thin fonts. Like this nostalgia script would be kind of tough on your machine to cut because it's such a thin script font, especially if it's a smaller size. So when you're choosing a font, just keep some of those factors in mind. Let's go ahead and download this Rain Love Script font. It's a really pretty um, script font and it doesn't look like it's super, super thin. So once you've chosen your font, go down and click Download Free Now or wherever the download button is from the site you're using. And it's gonna go in your, to your downloads as a zip file. So let's open it up and you'll see a couple of different folders here, but it still has to be unzipped. So in order to unzip it, you wanna right click and select extract all. And then you're gonna choose a location to unzip your file. So I like to keep my fonts all in one folder. On my desktop, I have a folder just called fonts. So that's the folder that I'm going to select and then I'm gonna click extract. And that's gonna open that file up for us so that we can actually use it. So we're gonna open up the Love Rain folder and we are going to install the OTF or the OpenType font version. Most fonts that you'll download will have an OTF or OpenType font and a TTF version, the TrueType font. And you always want to use the OTF version. You can remember that acronym is Open This Font because this is the one you want to use. So I double clicked on that and this little box pops up to show me all of the different characters and everything available with this font. And I'm just gonna click install. And then when it's done, you're gonna see that the button has grayed out and that will mean that your font is installed. So you wanna close out of everything and I am specifically gonna close out of this browser. So some people, um, if you have trouble with getting an if you have trouble with downloading your fonts and seeing them in Cricut Design Space, you may have to shut your entire computer down. I normally don't have to do that. All I have to do is close out of the internet browser that I'm in, and then I go back into the browser and sign into Design Space, and I should be able to see the font already. So in order to see if I have the font installed, I'm just gonna go to my text and I'll just type my name. And then we'll go search through our fonts and see if we can find it. So your fonts are located in this upper left-hand corner. And if you're not familiar with Design Space, I'll link up in the YouTube card right there a video of an overview of Cricut Design Space that's gonna show you where all of the important stuff is. So if you're brand, brand new to the Cricut, make sure that you check that out. And when you go into your fonts, you'll see three different categories, all, system, and Cricut. So the, all of them is gonna be a mix of your computer fonts or your system fonts, as well as the Cricut fonts. So if you're a Cricut Access member, that might be useful for you. I am not a Cricut Access member, so I like to sort my fonts by system. That way I don't accidentally insert a font into my project that I end up having to pay for in the end. So then I'll just search for the word rain and there it is, Rain Love Script. 
So you can see um, in general in Cricut Design Space, especially in, in um, script fonts, the kerning or the letter spacing is not very good in Design Space by default. So you can adjust that up here. You can take the letter spacing down to zero, and then you'll probably still have to ungroup your font and move your letters together manually. Um, but that's another lesson for another day. So I just wanted to show you guys what to do in order to get some of those really beautiful fonts that you find into your Cricut Design Space. So if you guys have any more questions for me, please feel free to drop those below in the comments. But otherwise, if you're new around here, I'd love if you consider subscribing to DIY Alex. You can do that by pressing the big red subscribe button below and ringing the bell next to subscribe so that you never miss a new upload. If you're new around here, January 2020 is going to be all about Cricut beginners. So I already have a Cricut for Beginners series started, but I'm going to be adding to those videos every week in the month of January and of course throughout the year as well. So I hope you'll stick around for that. I'm Alex Vanover and I hope we can craft again soon.